want to bring Ted Anderson up here. Uh, Ted, uh, gold's what's almost gone up to 1800 today. Uh, they're, they're, they're saying quantitative easing's behind that, unlimited quantitative easing, 80 plus billion a month given to the private banks. The banks are announcing record profits again off our tax money. We've got to pay back. But the media says we're lazy and that taxpayers need to pay more. And Romney said last night, hey, I'm not going to cut a bunch of taxes to Obama. So there you go. If they slash taxes, revenue would explode. What well, Kennedy cut the one tax bracket by 50 percent, the other tax bracket by 35. Tax receipts more than doubled. Why can't they do what JFK did, Ted Anderson? Well, you know, it, it, reducing taxes does raise revenue for the government, there, but it's a it's political suicide. Plus, also, like you, I believe that they're trying to drive this thing right through the floor. It's it's getting so obvious now; it's not even funny. Um, it, this morning, when I uh, when I started looking at gold, gold hit eighteen hundred dollars an ounce in Europe in the futures market. Uh, so far today, the spot price of gold, 1796.20 at its high. I mean, it is, it, it, it's, it's melting apart. Uh, the uh, the uh, um, Mario Draghi, the president of the central bank uh, in Europe, started talking about the $367,000 jobless claim in the United States that was just announced, and the, and the gold prices just started to rise like crazy. Germany right now is considering a gold standard to get away from the United States' inflation. You know, the, 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 uh, we, right now we're in this QE4 or QE3, and we're just driving the value of our currency right through the floor. The way that they describe it is, here's how they say it. It says, gold is money, according to the Dutch bank, says it would go further, however, to argue that it could be characterized as good money as opposed to bad money, which would be represented by many of today's fiat currencies. And then he's talking about good money leaving the countries and disappearing into hordes while the bad money comes in, in by, by, the, by the bucket falls. You exactly. Know? Translate that, Ted. The elite are buying gold, farmland, firearm stocks, military stocks, uh, and exiting basically everything else, raw material stocks, but exiting everything else while they pump the world with, with devalued crud because they know what the effect's going to be, hyperinflation. Oh, absolutely. You can see all the central banks moving into gold, and you can see all the elite. As a matter of fact, George Soros himself has been moving into gold. The people who know what's going on are getting into gold. They, they, and then they're telling this, the, the, the general people, the common folk, you know, you stick with the money, stick with the currency, stay away from gold and silver. It's not good for you. It's only good for us. Let me tell you something. It, we're, we're like sitting on the Titanic, and the captain is saying, hey, Mayday, put on a, put on a life preserver. We're going down. Kurt Nemo's article is up at Infowars.com. Kurt Nemo, Alex Jones. War with Iran started five years ago, but then it breaks down how the wider hot war is just slowly escalating in front of us. But it's like if you have a gas top stove like I do, and it goes from one to ten. One is simmer, ten is on full flame. Yeah, five years ago, it was on one flame. And then four years ago, it was on three flames. And then two years ago, it was on five, six flames. It's now up to like seven, eight flames. And they're turning it up. People are like, where's the war? I don't know. Drones bombing everybody, huge proxy wars. Turkey shelling Syria, U.S. troops. They're masked. I've got family in the military all been sent over to the Middle East told get ready for huge war. It's already going on, and it's happening right as all Hades breaks loose. Now, I got Ted up here, obviously, with 30-plus years in gold and silver, 15-plus with Midas Resources. I just bought some gold and silver from Ted just uh, Monday. And I'm not selling the gold. I bought it 300 bucks an ounce. And I'm not selling the silver. I bought it 5 bucks an ounce from Midas Resources 12 years ago. Uh, and I know it's a steal at the price I'm getting it, in my view, because I know global devaluation is accelerating. Here's a pitch here. It doesn't really support the network. It's a lost leader, but you can get two silver dollars uh, of just a beautiful make. Ted can tell you about that for $72. That's at cost. Ted bought them when they were lower, so that's how I can do that now. Uh, with Obama Deception, American Dream film exposing the Federal Reserve and the Rothschilds and Rockefellers, incredible, and Dishonest Money, an amazing book that we also sell for $19.95 at InfoWars.com. That's free. Two films and a book for free. 
free with the two silver dollars. So go check that out at minusresources.com or there's a banner on infowars.com. Ted, I mean, I, I, the point is people need to get into gold and silver in my view. And I mean, I only promote what I believe in. That's one reason we're so popular is I promoted things that have been successful because I do my research. What I do, I tell people to do. I mean, that's win, win, win. That's what a Christian does. Uh, but expanding on this, uh, I know that you've sold out of most of the gold and silver you bought, you bought months ago. Uh, so what's the silver and gold at price wise? I know that's how you pass on these savings uh, to people uh, for what it is today. And when are your prices going up? And briefly, because we're about to go to break, what are some of the gold and silver super radio specials people can call 800-686-2237 and get? Well, I mean, obviously, the, the best deal I have is the one that you described. $72 gets you a book, two videos, two silver dollars. Uh, you're not going to beat that anywhere. I mean, uh, crying out loud, you can't buy the two silver dollars for that anymore. Uh, price of silver has gone up to $35 plus an ounce now. So you're just, they're, they're not available. But we do have many other great offers. And uh, right now, presently, you can pick up the uh, Frank coin at 388 the Walking Liberty Half. Very affordable. One of my favorites for everyone out there, 1707 uh, We have the Lakota Nation coin. People still love that. It's at $43. Uh, there's just a lot of things. Some of you are very concerned about gold confiscation. It's a controversial issue, I realize, uh, but we still, we carry the $20 liberties at twenty-one fifty-four. For those of you who like the bullion, which I love as well, uh, currently right now the Canadian Maple Leaf is at nineteen fifty-seven. I, I bought buffaloes uh, and pesos, as you know, Ted. Yeah. Uh, I like Mexican pesos. It's the most gorgeous coin I've ever seen. Uh, but I just bought some buffaloes, and again, those are non-confiscatable under the different rulings, and that's why it's important. All right, coming up, I'm going to give the post-debate breakdown, which is one of the most historical debates we've had in recent history. I mean, it is two globalist puppets, but they are battling each other over the levers of spoils over the goody goods of looting the American people and bringing us into the new world order. Uh, they are fighting over who can rearrange deck chairs on the proverbial Titanic. So that is coming up and your phone calls will give the number out in the next segment. But going back to Ted Anderson, uh, Ted, we were getting into a plug here for gold and silver. I mean, I'm surprised. I mean, I know you've sold thousands of them the last few weeks. Two silver dollars for $72, you can't even buy those in the market, two of them for that, with two free films and a book. I mean, that's that's joke level good, Ted. I mean, I feel so good promoting that. How long until you have to go up on that? I know you went up a few weeks ago from 63 to 72. How long, Ted? Well, I'm going to hold out on this one as long as I can, Alex. It'll probably be sometime this weekend. I, I'm guessing that gold will hit over $1,800 an ounce here very soon. Silver will be encroaching $40 an ounce. I'm simply not going to be able to sell two silver dollars, give away all these other goodies for $72 delivered when the shipping alone is you know it's $6.50. I mean, uh, it... It, but it does educate the people. It's a great way to get uh, new people started with precious metals. Uh, like you say, it's a loss leader, but I think it's more than a loss leader. I mean, it's always been my intention to educate the people, get people informed, understand the fiat system. That's why it's so geared toward that. Your Obama deception video is great. Uh, that, that book by Joe Plummer, The Dishonest Money, is right on target. I mean, I, you know, it's just one of those ways for me to get the information out. And uh, so we'll be holding it until this weekend. But if you want to get involved, uh, let, let me tell you something. At, at $40 an ounce silver, I'm not going to be able to sell two silver dollars for 72 bucks. Put in th two videos and a book, it's just not possible. I would be out of business, I'd be broke, and you'd have to go find it somewhere else. So, yeah, no, it's going to have it's going to have to go up. I'm going to hold it through this weekend for sure. 800-686-2237. Uh, now, 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 I mean, again, briefly, explain to people, Ted, the difference uh, between confiscatable gold and non-confiscatable. I mean, I got the non-confiscatable uh, U.S. Mint stuff just because I know it's so popular and it was so close to melt uh, at the deals you have. 
Well, what people don't realize is that the government plays a lot of games. I mean, you, you can buy a U.S. gold eagle and not have to worry about the 60-45 ruling and uh, not have to give up a Social Security number and get a 1099 form when you're selling. On a Kruger and a Maple Leaf, you do have to do that. Bags of junk silver. You have to give up the, the Social Security number. But if you buy mercury dimes, you don't have to. It's just this, this crazy game that the United States government plays, trying to influence one over the other and so on and so forth. Confiscation happened in 1933. Anybody that's trying to tell you that it didn't is lying to you. Franklin D. Roosevelt closed the gold window and confiscated gold on a Monday. He got into office on a Friday. But now was, we're seeing uh, those um, coins being uh, confiscated. What are the ones they're grabbing that when they find people with them? Uh, the ones from 1933 that are worth millions apiece? There's another example of confiscation. It brings it right back to date. The 1933 coin was never issued. So somebody had some of those coins, so obviously somehow they got out of the mint. Well, the, the dummy who had the coins went back to the mint and said, hey, are these authentic? And then they confiscated fr from the guy. Th this happened recently. I mean, they confiscated the silver from the people that were, that were trading the uh, Norfed uh, dollars and, and, and you know, it's incredible. 800-686-2237. The brokers there are great guys and ladies that can answer all your questions. But tell them the Alex Jones radio special. That is the absolute secret loss leader stuff. You've got to have that. Not just radio special. Alex Jones radio is the creme de la creme wide spectrum of the best deals. You're getting the deals I get when you ask for that, ladies and gentlemen. 800-686-2237 for the lost leaders. All right, thank you so much, Ted Anderson. Ask yourselves, what are you doing in this time of great challenge? What are you doing to unlock minds?